Well, I got a pretty good feeling about this dock up here. Yeah, it's, it looks right. Plus, I like the fact it looks old and beat up. Yeah, dilapidated. Dilapidated. Dilapidated, that's what somebody told me. Yeah. Well, welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing, y'all. We're fishing in Stewart with Captain Mark Nichols from DOA Lures, and uh, we're snook fishing today. And if y'all have heard about the, the situation in the Indian River Lagoon system from down here all the way up north, there's a bad algae bloom. And we've been trying all morning to show you some fish and hooked a couple early and uh, we've just been bouncing around. It's summertime, it's hot, so you just gotta keep bouncing from spot to spot and see what you can come up with. Keep casting. And we're gonna keep casting right up here, see what happens. Find a quality fish out here. They're here. Show me how, Captain. Let's see what happens. Oh, wait a minute, maybe I can show you how. It's a nice looking little trough right below the dock here, too. Let's see the It don't look like that dock's been used for quite a while. There's a fish. That's a real one, that's too, a, brother. That's a snook. I snook on your hook, That's sir. a snook on my hook. He's over there. I know one. I'm trying to. Where are you getting? I'm trying to get away from the. <laughs> over you, over you, over you. <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> well, who wouldn't get excited on a snook like that, huh? <laughs> I know, I'm just jealous. Come on, baby, that's one we've been searching for. Should I get out the bang sticker? Oh, yeah. It's a nice fish there. All right, he's coming around. Walk on around this way, Mr. Snook. Stop that. Get back over here, you're not a giant, but you're a good one. Big enough to pull back. <sighs> Big enough to make that lovely sound that we love so much, right? Yeah, I guess. That's a nice fish. Uh, that one will definitely work. Oh, he's nice and pretty. He ain't been in this nasty water. Yeah, that's pretty clean, isn't he? Open your mouth. Come on, open, open. Shh. Quit that. Got him? Yep. Cool beans, brother. Nice fish, sir. Him. Mm -hmm. It's all yours. Got him. Oh, very cool. There you go, right from Stuart, right as the rain starts to fall on us. Hey, what a beauty. Hey, you want to grab that shrimp out of there? Yes, sir. Yeah, since, it, since it is your shrimp. Yep. Yep. How'd that feel? That felt real good. And that's the little cotton shrimp that I like so much. Yep. Look at that baby right there. I came there. up with this about five or six years ago. I love glow, I love gold. That's, a, a, that's a nice, happy fish. That's a healthy looking fish. Ooh. Let's see. And that's a nice release. There she goes. <laughs> she was ready. Good job, sir. Right in the hand. <laughs> see what a snook will do to your hand right there? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a classic gill slice, huh? That is a gill slice. Mm -hmm. I'm using a weedless device, which is working quite effectively for me. Well, welcome back, folks. We've changed positions now. We're kind of doing it old school. This is what we used to do, what? 18 years ago yep, around. That's what we started. It's called Dog in the uh, Dog in the Inlet, really. Yep. This Dogs and Bait Busters. Little place we started. Little place called Hole in the Wall, and there is some snook here, we hope. We heard there was at one time. Yep. I got a report. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There's at least a sailor's I choice. I think that was a nip. Uh-oh. That trolling motor, you really think you have one. Yeah, on. I know. <laughs> they do take some late in line in a hurry. Like about drag screaming rod bending. Rod breaking. Yeah. Rod breaking Blair cussing television. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully after 18 years, they still find this place pretty appealing. Oh, well, the fish, you know, they got to come do the spawn. They, you know, nature says come have sex and get over here, and that's what they do. And they're going to keep doing it. And like we've reiterated numerous times, they can live in dirty water. And yeah. if there's any salt, it's going to be on the bottom. So we're dredging the bottom. There That's, he is. You hit him. You suck. <laughs> I feel bad. Well, I'm just going to leave it spot lock here because there really ain't nothing for you to get tangled on, is there? Not really. It's not that big a fish, so. It looked good. Looked good when oh, he it's, hit, Mr. Nichols. It's a nice fish. It's really a lot nicer than I thought it was. Pretty fish. Yeah, it is. Oh. He's a little green for this. I'm like, not supposed to beat him in five seconds, huh? Oh, you're watch that trolling motor. It's on. Here we go. The old spot lock is on. Ow. 
I need another cut in my hand. Oh, you went to the old uh, holographic, huh? Yes, sir, I did. Come on, Mr. Snook. We're going to show you off and let you go. Go. There you go. It's a nice fish, actually. Right there on the holographic, you want to get your shrimp. Oh, look there. at that. I got it. I do that. You know, I automatically follows out when I get them to the boat. What a pretty fish. It is a nice fish. Appreciate you pointing that fish out to me, too. I told you I hooked one over there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let your fish go. All right, let my fish go. It's my fish. That's good. Thank you. Since I ain't got the fuel one. Today. There he goes. Cool. Get on out of here. Get out of here before the shark finds you. Sweet. Well, I think we've pounded this place about all we can pound. I think we've pounded and we've been pounded we, too. We've been pounded. Let's see, what do you say we head back to the 10 cent bridge? We've got Mother Nature starting to knock on our door already. Yeah, and, uh, get us back toward the ramp a little. All right. I know your plan. Sound like a winner. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with Captain Martin Nichols right here in Stewart, Florida. It's made the news in the past few days. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about that at the end of the show. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. Bye. Y'all come back here. Let's go then. <laughs> yeah, buddy. The 10 cent bridge pays off again. Wow. Catch a fish, Mark. Okay. I was starting to feel kind of confident, like, hey, there's, there's some fish down there. Well, welcome back, folks. We're back at the world famous 10 cent bridge, otherwise renamed the uh, Bait Buster Bridge. And uh, we're just gonna give a few casts here, see if we got anything hanging out. It usually holds some pretty big fish. When you hook one here, you know it's a big one. This is where we got that 48 and a half incher last year with uh, Greg Schneider. Those are slobs, though. Those are just genuinely big slobs. It's so cool when you hook them, though, because you jerk I their head that. one way, I and love then it. they pull it back the other way, and you can almost tell how big it is by the way he pulls it back when you set you the You hit hook. them, and there's always a brief pause. Yeah. And they're, gonna, they're like, oh, damn it, that's a lure. Okay, now I'm going to leave. <laughs> well, other than bait busters, what we're throwing today, we're putting a uh, 3 8 ounce jig head with a, what color is that one? This is, uh, oh, you'd ask, Bio Tiger. Bayou Tiger. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, you got another. That's a, that's a fish. That's a good one, brother. One. That's a good one. Just see how that his head yanked back. That was before it stopped for a second, you know? That was, that that was you're awesome. doing what you're supposed to do. I'm going to get you out. Oh, that's a real one there, brother. Yes, Get me away from this place, please, hurry. I'm going as fast as this mink cut will go, brother. Oh, it's doing good. Ooh, that's a girl. You said you wanted to beat my 48 and a half? <laughs> this could do it, he's running this the right way. This is an animal. This is an animal. Oh, Mark. This fish has got a real mind of its own here. I'm just going to keep going back. Go this way. Okay, good. That's fine. We'll land him out in the middle of the channel if we need to. Yes, sir. What a difference one nibble makes, huh? Oh, yeah. Come on, fish. I'm thinking 49 inches. No. I'm thinking 48 and a quarter. I'm going to do a U-turn here. Come on, baby. Coming up, sir. I get a look here. The... Or not. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> hang on. That's a real one. That's a real one, brother. That's a rather large fish. That's a rather large fish there, Mark. You ready, sir? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. The 10 cent bridge pays off again. Look at that hump. Look at that. Wow. Look line across the Oh yeah, it got hit. That ain't a shabby one. It ain't 48, but it's a nice fish. Come on, fish. Oh, okay. Mark, you want to wet the deck right there and let me lay this fish up there? Sure. All right, that ought to do it. All right, fish. Up on the deck. <laughs> Woo. Brother, that is a snook. That's a beautiful fish. 
Let me get out of the light there. And it worked, the old Bayou Bayou Tiger. Bayou Tiger. Talking about it about a minute and a half before it <sighs> happened. Grab that fish. Yes, sir. Hi there. <laughs> She's, look at that gross fish. Uh, look at that. That is the fattest snook I've ever seen at that size. She's really broad. Let's get her back in the water here. Yeah. Let's go ahead. She's all yours, brother. All yours. Woo, what a That's fish. Sweetie. Wow. Up from the deep. Thank you. There she goes. Swim, fish, swim. She's upright, going down. Woo, that's what we needed right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah she's cruising. Yeah, she's all going right. the other way. She's going the right direction now. If y'all have seen the news, the St. Lucie area here has just been inundated. They're dumping all kinds of well, some crap out of the Okeechobee, and it's uh, the blue-green algae in here. Fish are still here, just really nasty water. Unfortunately, you know, a lot of this, the smaller game fish species are going to start stressing and then it's gonna put a stress on the, the snook and the tarp and everything else too. So. Well, what the hope is all the blue-green algae gets out of here before it dies, because when it dies, that gives off it's the toxins. Toxic and, as it can be. And that'll bring the fish kill, so. Yeah. Hopefully, the big berthers like that will be safe and uh, they'll get this situation cleaned up here pretty soon. What do you say we go relocate and- uh, <laughs> You're kidding. See if we can get another one. <laughs> Good job, brother. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more Dig to Fishing. Mark Nichols and uh, beautiful Stuart. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. On today's Rig It Right, I'm gonna show you what Captain Mark and I were out there throwing today. Mark called me up and he said, Blair, you gotta come down here and check this situation out. Okeechobee is dumping all kinds of water down here. We've got a blue-green algae bloom like I have never seen, and y'all have seen it on the show now. It's pretty nasty down there. This time of year, the snooks start to stage up in certain areas and we hit all the areas basically where we thought the snook would be and sure enough they're there. They can live in that nasty water. But hopefully real soon something's going to be happening down there and all that clean water that Stuart's known for, that beautiful water will be back in there and all those fish will be happy. So let's show you what we were using. Started skipping the docks with one of my favorite baits right here. It was Mark's very first bait that he made. It was a gold one and this happens to be what I call the cotton shrimp. This one here has gold glitter on the bottom and it glows on the top. Had it rigged with 30 pound test, real heavy on this because we were fishing the docks and had to get them out and also deep jigging the bridges. And 40 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon leader. This is the blue label, it's really abrasion resistant. So if y'all ever get a chance to make it down to Stewart area down there, uh, look up Captain Mark Nichols at doalures.com. He can put you with guides and he's definitely got some baits that are gonna work for you. Remember one thing though, every fishing season starts right at Dick's. Rig it right by Wright and Miguel. Back at the 10 cent. Back at the 10 cent, home of the big slobs. We could pull off one more fat one. You know there's more than one in here. You know there's more than 20 in here. <laughs> See if they still eat a bait buster. Are you gonna rig up a new lure or are you gonna let me catch all the fish? I'd there? like to catch another fish, so I think I am gonna rig something else. I've always said the way you're gonna catch a fish is get your bait in water. I read about that too. Was that your quote? I knew it was somebody famous. I think it was somebody famous. <laughs> oh, fish right there. Oh, son. Oh, you are my hero. I gotta, it's can a I good get one. your autograph when this is over? What do you want me to do, sir? Uh, I don't know. Grab the remote control. and see if you can figure it out. It's a good fish. Yeah. Oh, come on, baby. Don't. I'm glad I put 30 pound on these rods. Where do you want me to go? Just turn it off right now. Drink the big motor. Hold on. Here he comes up. Watch it be the same one. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. We'll definitely know. Uh, Ooh, that's no, nice that ain't the same fish, one. Sir. That ain't the same one, brother. No, that's a bigger one, you dog. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. Got him? No, nope, not yet. Now I do. Okay, you're slack. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. Wet that deck again, Walker. Yes, sir. I don't care if you wet me. Go ahead. You got it. Oh. Oh. 
That's a fatty. <laughs> That's big. Look at that fish. And the old bait buster does it again, huh? The bait buster does it again. That's and that's the lighter one. Fish. I threw that one. Yeah. The light one with the orange chin. Whoa! Look at that fish. <laughs> awesome job, sir. Oh, man. Thank, thank you, you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She's been down doing spawn stuff. Yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> there's that Labrador look. So sweet. Brother, it don't get no better than that right there. No, sir. Those fish are so cool. Prehistoric. They look prehistoric, don't they? No, they don't. She wore out. I was putting the heat on it. Can we start the big engine and? No, she's starting to chew on my thumb now. I think she's about ready. I'm gonna send her down. It was relatively cooperative. Mr. Knuckles. <laughs> What, Such a day. what an awesome day. <laughs> That's two fish of a lifetime. I mean of a lifetime. I know people that have snook fished their whole lives up around, you know, anywhere in Florida and have never caught a snook. Oh, I know. Who would you recommend they come with? I know I know my pick down here would be Greg Snyder to come with. Greg Snyder, uh, you know, Ed Zayak can do a great job. Oh, Ed too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's so many good guys there's, there's, down here. There's a lot of good guys that are really respectful. You get a hold of you guys, you can always get a hold of us at DOA. We can always recommend people as well. I'm still shaking. <laughs> you gotta love it. If I ever lose it, you won't see me on fish no more. Really? Don't forget about the website, y'all, addictofishing.com. Y'all ever want to come to Stewart here? Want to say thanks to Rufus Wakeman. He's got the, one of the best places. I'd awesome say the, place. the best place to stay awesome down place. here in Stewart. It's called River Palm Cottages. Look it up on the website. One cool place to stay. You can do weddings and parties awesome. and all kinds of stuff there. It works for me. I'm, I'm, I'm glad <laughs> when fish, fish take my breath away. We'll see y'all next week. Yeah! Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Woo! <laughs> nice fish. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Well, welcome back, folks. We've changed position. Position. Well, I love that dirty water. Bah, bah, bah. Shane, let me tell you, you never want to bankrupt yourself. Never, Shane, let me tell you, never bankrupt yourself because, oh yeah, they even took my shoelaces, Shane. <laughs> <laughs>